snowmobiles, like I said, I've always been interested in them uh, since I was a kid. My first snowmobile was a Johnson Seahorse, ski horse, you know. It was just not much of a snowmobile, but uh, it was fun, you know. But uh, the, the Snow King thing, um, we bought the old Arctic Boss Cat in uh, 1981. And um, we bought it from right from Arctic. This is at the time when they're going through the restructuring or whatever. But, you know, we went up there. I said, I want to study this thing. I want to see how they did it because I want to build a speed sled. And they said, well, why don't you buy it? And I said, I can't afford anything like that. And he wrote a number down on a piece of paper. And I go, yeah, maybe I can. <laughs> and so me and, my, me and a friend of mine, we bought it. You know, the sled looks awesome. It looks like something that's out of Star Wars, you know. But uh, we finally got hooked up with, with a lady that was putting together a speed run series, Meg Greenhow, and she hooked us up with Budweiser. And it was a, a 10 year ordeal with Budweiser. Not a major sponsorship, but without them, we couldn't have done it. And uh, we sold the Boss Cat to a collector because I knew this thing has to be in a museum someday. And it went to a collector up north in northern Wisconsin. Um, I went and bought a, a top fuel uh, chassis, and I put the engine that we had in the Boss Cat 1, and, and I, well, it was Snow King 1. Now I had my Snow King 2, so this is a little more modern. It was a rail-type dragster, and uh, that one was just a dream to drive. It was like driving a Cadillac on a Sunday afternoon. V8 automotive engine? Uh, it had a big block Chevy, a 468 cubic inch, alcohol injected, supercharged. It had a two-speed uh, Lenco drag racing transmission in it. it I mean, it was it was quite awesome for, for the time. Um, in the drag racing world, it probably wouldn't have been much, but uh, in the snowmobiling world, it was, it was quite a hit. But uh, we had that machine ultimately up to a uh, little over 200 miles an hour and a quarter mile. Uh, our 200 mile an hour run was on a exhibition pass and I blew the tracks off it so there's no way to make another run anyway but, no, but. anyway they, they shortly after that maybe a few years go by and they changed the rules again it had to go down to uh, snowmobile engines no more car motors no more boat motors you know and Yamaha was interested and uh, they gave me uh, seven VMAX 4 engines at the time and I put four of them into the sled, and that's the sled that sits into the Hall of Fame right now. But uh, I coupled up four of those engines, and with, uh, with the help of a little nitrous oxide, I ended up with uh, right around 800 horsepower. The snowmobile never really performed as well as I wanted to, but uh, I did prove a point to myself that I could do it. You know, I mean, uh, I'm a builder. I mean, I, I just make things. and. Uh, you know, I'm probably the only individual that's ever built a four-engine snowmobile other than the, than the factories, you know, without support. You know, and a little bit of help from Budweiser and a little bit of help from Yamaha. You know, you can't do it by yourself. You know, you got a lot of friends and, and uh, you know, and I, I give my wife and my friends all the credit in the world because, I mean, I'm only one guy, you know. I get all the glory. <laughs> Was yesterday the first time you saw the snow king sitting in the Hall of Fame? Yes, it is. Uh, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know. It's it's hard to explain. Uh, it was a little bit emotional. <laughs> I mean, uh, this is about three years of my life tied up into that sled, you know. And, uh, but yeah, that was really cool. Um, you know, to be in a place like that with that much history, it's just totally awesome. My name is Paul Groth. I'm the driver and engineer of the Budweiser Snow King. Uh, as you see behind you here. Uh, the snowmobile is a dragster style snowmobile. We use it in speed runs and it uh, has four Yamaha VMAX 4 engines, uh, four 750cc four cylinder engines in it. Uh, we're producing right around 900 horsepower and uh, so far our fastest speed is about 146 so we're shooting for a little bit higher speed and trying to keep it rolling here. Um, we're hooking everything up with uh, twin tracks and uh, We've got an automotive style drive line in it. And the machine has been virtually flawless as far as uh, mechanical lately, but uh, there's always some gremlins. If you, if you ever tried to tune anything with 16 cylinders, you'd probably find out. 
we've got a standard uh, automotive type parachute on there if you can imagine uh, getting going on ice is just as hard as trying to stop on ice so um, we have a we have a we have an auxiliary parachute if I'm going fast enough or if I need it I just throw it out manually so um, whenever I get through the end of the quarter mile or a thousand feet whatever we're running that's when the laundry goes out and, and hopefully it uh, catches Bud Snow King is a funny story. Uh, I collect old snowmobiles and race machines in particular, and a friend of mine says, hey, there's a cool machine on eBay that you need to look at. And uh, so that's how the Bud machine was acquired through eBay. And after purchasing the Bud sled, I become uh, good friends with Paul Groth, the uh, designer and creator and driver of the Bud sleds. And uh, we're good friends of these days, and he still has some speed tricks up his sleeve. What's it like to see that thing sitting in the Hall of Fame? It's a dream come true. It's where it belongs. It's a lot of technology, a lot of sweat equity, uh, a lot of history sitting there. That's where it belongs. I'm glad it's there. I'm riding a 440 Cyclone.